Hi everyone, so today is 30th October Monday and it is currently 3.37 and yes, my school is closed today because as I had already mentioned in the last video, my schools are closed till 2nd November and this is my to-do list for today. I'll do heredity and arithmetic progression. So basically, I will try my best to complete the chapter arithmetic, pro arithmetic progression by today. Uh, both the NCRT and the RS Agrawal. I have completed more than half from the NCRT but I still have the whole RS Agrawal book left so I will try to complete it today and that is why the to-do list is very concise today so yeah and I'll do heredity for one hour or one hour 30 minutes max and the rest I'll be doing AP that's it I'll be doing AP for most of the time today so yeah let's see how much i can complete and if i think that i won't be able to do maths for any longer then i will move to geography the chapter minerals yeah the basically the chapter five so yeah let's see what happens let's start doing mathematics but first we will put a timer of one hour 30 minutes so this timer will end at 508 so yeah Let's start doing mathematics. So I could not achieve my target, but I still did a lot and I gave my best. So I'm happy about that. But I believe that I still need to improve my calculation speed a lot. Because at this point, it's just not enough. This speed is not going to help me at all during my exams. So yeah, I am trying to improve my speed by putting a timer by my side while i practice the solutions i can also see how much time it takes me to solve one question two question or three to four questions and maybe i can improve them in the future once i try to solve the same questions again by the way my second pre-board examination is from 11th december and before that, I have to finish my whole syllabus. I'll have to revise it. I'll have to practice questions. So there's a lot to do. And as a result, I am trying my best. I'm trying to improve my speed. And I am studying efficiently, as efficiently as possible. And I'm also devoting as much time as possible to studies. currently 509 and right now i'm going to take a break of 15 minutes this timer will end at 525 so yeah i'll come back at 525 it's currently 531 and i know i'm a little late because i was actually doing some work on youtube so let me put a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes again this timer will end at 7.01 and I think I'm left with around 3 questions or 4 questions from the NCRT optional exercise and after that I'll start doing the Arasagraval book. I don't think I'll be able to complete the whole thing by today but I'll try my best to do as much as I can. To be honest, I did not do the last three questions of the optional exercise because they were just very tricky. So I decided that I'll start doing the RS Agarwal and once I'm done with the RS Agarwal book, I'll have a more broad idea about the kind of questions which are always asked in the examinations. And I can also have a broad idea about the ways in which a particular word problem can be solved. So that is why I left the three questions there and then I moved to the book of RS Agarwal. I started doing the examples. And after that, once I'm done with this whole chapter from the book of Aris Agarwal, I'll again move to the NCRT optional exercise and I'll attempt those three questions again. Other than that, other than that particular optional exercise, the whole book of NCRT was quite easy. So I'll try to solve it once again before the examinations. And I have also marked a few questions from the examples of Aris Agarwal, which I will do once I am done with my full syllabus of mathematics. And there are some very silly mistakes that I'm making, you know, even after putting the full formula correctly, I am still making very, very silly mistakes, mostly in the science and all. So I'll have to improve that.
it's currently 708 and i have done maths for like three hours so right now i'm going to take a long break and after that i'll come back and I, i'll do science science and then i'll start doing mathematics again and by the way i'm pretty sure that i won't be able to complete the whole rs agarwal today so yeah that's the update i'll come back after a long break it's currently 8 46 and right now i'm going to put a timer of one hour which will end at 9 46 pm so yeah i'll start studying science now biology heredity So here I was doing the chapter heredity and I was watching the lecture of physics wala and the lecture is 7 hours long. So yeah I was skipping it at some points which I found unimportant and I was also watching the video at 2x speed. So as a result I believe I would be able to complete all of it in the time span of 3 days. After I'm done with these two chapters, I'll directly move to our environment. I'll complete the chapter our environment and then I will revise these three chapters together while practicing the questions of these chapters. In this way, I can revise most of my biology syllabus at once and on the day when I'll be doing it, I won't be doing any other tasks except mathematics because I'll be doing maths every day. Currently 10.08 and I am done with my biology work for today so right now i'll take a break of 15 minutes and after that i'll start doing arithmetic progressions again for as long as i can do it so we'll put a timer of 15 minutes this timer will end at 10 23 so yeah i'll start studying mathematics at 10 23 again 10 27 and i'm actually going downstairs to have my dinner it's already very late so I'll just go, I'll have my dinner, I'll come back after having my dinner. Bye. It's currently 11.05 and it's already very late. So right now I'm going to put a timer of 1 hour, which will end at 12.05. So yeah, I'll start doing mathematics and after that I'll just go to sleep right away. Let's start off with our last study session for today. So for my last study session, I decided to reattempt those questions which I could not solve correctly in the first go. And it was actually a good idea because while doing the exercise, I did not get stuck anywhere. And even if I did, the problem wasn't con conceptual. It was rather regarding, as I said, the science or, you know, some very basic silly calculation mistakes, which were very rare. To be very honest, it wasn't a lot. It was very rare. So yeah, that was a good idea. And once I was done with these questions, I moved to the exercise again. And I could not do much from the exercise. I think I did around like five questions. Currently 12.15 and I am finally done with all my tasks for today. I only had two tasks, but yeah, I did math for a very long time. So yes, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.